Hello everyone, this is Coach Carol and today I want to take you through my steps for sharing your blog posts to social media automatically. Just going to adjust my lighting. making sure you can see me all right and I'm over here in my WordPress blog and I have created a new post which is part of the 52 ancestors 52 weeks challenge and this requires us to write a blog post on some aspect of our ancestry each week this week's theme is favorite photo and I've added the favorite photo to this post. If I just go over here and show you some of the technical parts of WordPress, I'm clicking on the navigation tool for the post itself. And I can scroll through to see that I've got the category linked correctly and any tags and the featured image which is down here. Now you'll see that in a moment at the top of my blog post when I preview it. The reason for showing you the process today is to make it easier and faster for you to share your family story blog posts to your social media. If you don't yet have a social media account, you might want to consider opening one such as Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. There are others, of course. For today, I'm just going to restrict the sending of this blog post to three of my favorite social media sites. And I do this through another feature of the navigation tools in WordPress called the Jetpack. Now click on that at the top of the navigation toolbar on the right hand side. And you'll see that I have currently shared this post to my Facebook page, Family History Preserved, or I will if I click that button, and saving it to my Twitter account here, if I click that button, and to my LinkedIn account, if I click that button. If I want to add more social media accounts for this post to appear in, I would then need to connect them with connect an account here. I'll leave it at those three for today. And I will customize the message that will appear in the post, nice and short, just the topic and its theme. In Twitter, you've got a choice of whether it's a single tweet or part of a Twitter thread. And a short link is provided for you here if you need to know where this copy, uh, where this link is and send it even wider. So once you have all of those choices in place, it's then time to publish. Now, as I've already published, I would then select the update. And it will update the content for me. If I make any changes in the content of the text or the images in my blog post, that will simply change on the blog post. It won't mean that I'm sharing it again. It will just mean it's updated for the person who comes in to look at it later. And sometimes that happens, you might want to do that. But if you are creating a new blog post, I'll just go over here and go having a look, nothing in drafts. So if I wanted to start a brand new post, I would need to write it, which I do here, create a new post. Add the title and I'll just put some holding text in here for the time being. 
that the theme for my next one is to be in the kitchen. And then I would go about creating the text and the add the images, etc. But here is what I meant by your options to publish. So at the moment, my Jetpack navigation tool is telling me that I've automatically selected those three social media accounts. It's automatically put the heading into the customize the message. And if I then publish, it gives me the chance to publish immediately or in the future. Now I've got nothing in there at the moment, so there's no point in publishing. But I'll just show you what you might want to do. If you're forward planning and you've got a draft that you're working on over a period of days, you could then select the date and the time by which you want the post to go live and be automatically sent to your social media. So I might set that for Friday. And then it's a matter of scheduling that, ready for that to happen. And in the meantime, this is in draft format. No one else is seeing it. And it's a reminder that it's scheduled and go live on February the 5th. I must remember to go back and complete that blog post. When you've finished with your automatic saving to your social media, here's an example of what it looks like. Over here on Facebook, here is the post that I made visible just a half an hour ago and it's showing up here in my page called Family History Preserved and you're looking at it through my eyes so you can see lots of extra things there but the interesting point here is under the heading of the group name or page name you can see that it's published by WordPress and how long ago that was. And there is the piece of text that I selected to go at the top of the post. And having a featured image on your blog post means that in your social media, that is the image that they will see. And this is a good calling card. It's a, a draw card for people to want to read your blog post. And of course, having it in social media invites people to come in and read it and to leave a comment more likely to happen in a social media than it is in the blog itself depending on your number of followers so there you have it that is how you send your posts automatically to your social media accounts this has been one of the video tutorials that you will find in courseware at my academy at coachcarolonline.thinkific.com. Thank you for listening.